Hey guys, it's Matt. Uh, it's Sunday, and I'm going to go ahead and do a quick video on how to keep all that outdated software on your PC up to date and prevent uh, viruses or malware that love that out of date software, prevent them from getting in your computer and dropping their Trojans and stealing all of your personal data like passwords and keystrokes and whatever else they log. So, uh, a lot of people, you know, they will they will do their Windows updates, and that's good, and you should always do your Windows updates. Um, but they do not update anything else. This is an out-of-date Skype. There's plenty of malware out there, plenty of viruses out there that actually target that. It'll get right in there, right through, you know, whatever. If, if your antivirus or whatever you're using does not know about that Trojan, It'll come right through this version of Skype and get in your box and uh, start logging or start doing whatever it's going to do. Um, same thing for this out-of-date Firefox, out-of-date Foxit Reader. We've got out-of-date Java, out-of-date Flash, everything on this computer right now. So we're going to go ahead and download a program that scans for out-of-date software, downloads the necessary updates for us automatically, and... Uh, keeps us all up to date and uh, it's important it's it's just as important as having a good antivirus or a good you know set of um, malware protection so let's go ahead and do a search for Sukunia PSI and if you do a Google search for it uh, you will see uh, comes up right here. And this page gives you a nice little uh, overview on how uh, Sukunia PSI works. But uh, we'll go ahead and just download it right away. It's uh, PSI setup.exe. It's 3.7 megabytes. So we'll go ahead and download that. Sorry about the uh, the mic is probably a little loud. I got a new, I had to get a new mic and uh, haven't had a chance to play with it. And then um, my girls are uh, having a party upstairs, so I wasn't really planning on doing a video, but I thought, what the hell? So it might be a little loud. So name the program: Sakunia PSI Installer. It's verified. Go ahead and install it. We'll do an English language. Next, uh, we're going to go ahead and choose to update programs automatically. There are a few options here. You can download them and you know let you choose what to update or check. But you know we're just going to go ahead and go with uh, go with the default, which is update programs automatically. I'm going to close this browser right now. And we'll hit finish. We'll go ahead and launch PSI. And PSI would like to have Microsoft Update installed. This is something a little bit different than Windows Update. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do that. We'll just say OK. That takes a few seconds to install, and the times that I have done it, um, it actually kind of freezes my computer for a second, and then it actually installs. So we'll go ahead and say install. And yeah, it just takes a few, takes a few minutes, probably two, three minutes, I think. All right, that was pretty quick, so it's installed now. We can close that window and we will run our first scan. So go ahead and hit scan now. So the scan, um, it depends on what you have installed on your PC. I mean, I think on a real PC, it would probably take 15, 20 minutes to run through a whole scan. Okay, so it's pretty much almost finished with the um, the updates. It says, uh, Sukunia just popped up a message and said, you have programs that require manual updates. And uh, we should see that list here in a few minutes. 
All right. So we have our full list. So it did the updates that we actually uh, need. Or it's, it's in the process of doing that. So we're going to take a look at the, the ones we actually have to do manual updates now. So, I mean, as you can see right here, the ones that automatically updated um, or are in the process, we have uh, this uh, Java JRE 1.7. It's downloading its update and it's doing its update. So it's going through the uh, whole process right now. And then I'll show you how to do a manual update here in a few seconds. Okay, so after Java updated, you can see it's uh, removed them from that list up there. It's all finished. So it says up to date now, so that's good. So now we're left with these guys right here. And these guys have to be updated manually. And it's pretty easy on, uh, on that process. So if you go ahead and you see the Foxit Reader 5.x or you see something else here, whatever, they have a click to update link. So just click to update. It's basically you're just going to open up a browser, send you straight to the page for the download. And you can go ahead and just, you know, choose whichever one you want. We'll just say free download, download. And um, once I download that, I can install it and we'll see what that looks like once I install it because um, it's the, it's the uh, latest version of Foxit. So. so I'm going through that process of installing the latest version of Foxit. Just downloaded it. It's uh, 33 megabytes and we're basically looking for this guy to basically uh, disappear. So. And we may have to do another scan again. So I say next. It's going through all these install options here. I don't want to install something that I don't actually need. Okay. So that's pretty wild. It's actually installing right now, and that list has already shrunk. You can see Foxit is now off the list. So we're just left with these items up here. So, I mean, um, that's, that's really it. I mean, that's all I wanted to show you. Sukunia so can download a lot of updates automatically. The updates that it can't download, it will go ahead and send you to the download pages. Um, and it just gives you, gives you a really nice visual list of what's up to date and what's not up to date. Um, so now that's back on the list. <laughs> Maybe I'm not done yet. Uh, close that. Okay, now it's now it's gone. Okay, it's this. Foxit is now up to date. I thought I was going to scrap this whole, whole video here for a second, but <laughs> it looks okay. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Um, that's how you can keep all the third-party software on your PC up to date. I gave you a quick example on how to do that. Uh, you can go through the rest of this stuff here and update all of these, and then have all of these up-to-date programs down here and nothing up here. And uh, so that's what you should do to uh, keep third-party stuff up to date. So. Anyway, thanks for watching. Talk to you guys later.